inflation showing no signs of easing. We're here in New West trying to find out which price hikes have hit people's wallets the most. Pokemon cards usually. Uh, Pokemon cards? Yeah. They've gotten more expensive? Uh, yeah. How much were they before? Uh, like, I think 50 or 52. $50? Yeah, like, yeah, like $52. Okay, how much are they now? Uh, 69? Yeah, 69 probably. I would say eyeglasses are quite expensive nowadays. The insurance doesn't cover it. Only gives like maybe 100 or 200 bucks, which is not enough. And it's a necessity, right? Like, I don't know, like nine out of 10 people need eyeglasses. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people struggle to pay the eyeglass bills and other medical bills that come up, yeah. A couple of years ago, it would just be around 300, but recently I paid 700 for it. Uh, some of the spices have gone up, um, right. so instead of doing that, I've turned around and gone over to uh, the food place across the street, Natural, and they're cheaper over there. What? So what were the spices you were getting and how much were you paying before? Oh, black pepper was really expensive uh, across the street and everything else. Uh, it's reasonable. Okay, how much was it before when, you, well, when it, it was reasonable? It used to turn around be two, three, maybe five dollars, and now all of a sudden sometimes it's gone up to eight in some places, and it's just like, no, 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 no. Not for a little tiny, like, totally. you're price gouging. So you're going to smaller businesses then? Yeah, promoting locally. Oh, I think everything's an unexpected price hike. I mean, even fast food's gone up. Yeah. Like, um, I can't believe we can't get a meal less than $10 now at a fast food place, right? Yeah. So car repairs, it feels like I'm paying at least another 10, 20% now. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Maybe Time it is that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Biking? <laughs> uh, yeah, or learning to fix my own car, I guess. <laughs> so let's dive deeper into why consumers might be seeing price hikes uh, for these items. Lucas Herrenbruick is an associate professor in economics at Simon Fraser University. He joins us now. Thanks for being with us. Hello. So, first of all, what are the reasons certain consumer goods in particular, we heard those Pokemon cards or even eyeglasses, uh, have seen significant mm -hmm. price increases mm -hmm. recently? Yeah, so I think the one number one misconception that people have about inflation is that um, inflation is um, the same for everything and for everybody. And that's simply not true. So in inflation, 2.9% inflation right now, is an incredibly broad average. It covers the entire economy. 2.9% inflation for Canada does not mean 2.9% inflation for you. Your inflation rate could have been plus 10% because of the Pokemon cards that you've been investing. Your inflation rate could have also been minus 10% because some of the deals that we weren't seeing during the pandemic and supply chain issue years are coming back. So break that down even further. You talk about how these price hikes can be attributed to, say, global market trends versus local market conditions. How do you parse those reasons? Oh, it's um, pretty simple. So if you're talking about something specific like Pokemon cards or the my favorite repair shop, that's always local. If you're talking about something specific, the reason is probably local. If you're talking about the economy as a whole, the reason is probably global because it's the average, it's everything. And you know, if we're looking at inflation in the United States, inflation in Europe, uh, those are trends that pretty much parallel exactly um, what's happening here in Canada. So in that sense, there really isn't anything particularly local to you know, a 2.9% increase in the cost of living as a whole. Now let's apply that to your crystal ball and looking ahead, do you see these price increases continuing or do you think certain uh, sectors will be affected more or less? So uh, forecasting is a fool's game, right? That's hopefully understood by everybody. But um, the one thing that we can, uh, the, the, the other big misconception people have about inflation is that when the inflation over is over, prices might be coming down. And that's simply not the case. Inflation means prices are going up. So the inflation is over when prices stop going up. It does not mean that the prices will ever come down, unfortunately. But the inflation is definitely easing. If we're looking at where it was two years ago, exactly right around this time, two years ago, it was 8%. One year ago, it was just over 3%. Right now, it's just under 3%. And I think we can be pretty confident that it's going to be between 2 and 3% over the next year and anything else is, 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 is a number you shouldn't bet your house on. Good advice there. Well, we thank you so much for your expertise on this today.